During the Ming Dynasty, not many people had medical knowledge. They had superstitious beliefs in Taoists and their elixirs. One Chinese doctor spent over 30 years studying Chinese herbs to help more people understand them better. He compiled the Compendium of Herbs. This book is now the compulsory textbook for contemporary Chinese medical practitioners. Let's watch the story of this dedicated Chinese doctor, Li Shijian. The grandson of the king of the Fushun state was found sick. A group of wizards saw the child and claimed that he was possessed. They started to cast spells on the sick child to exercise the evil spirit. <laughs> Even if it costs me an arm and a leg, I must cure my grandson! Your Highness, I heard that there is a young Chinese doctor in Sijo called Li Shijian. He is highly skilled. How about asking him to pay us a visit? All right, let's give him a try. Okay. This way, please. Does your grandson like to eat the wick of the candle? Oh, yes! I suspect that your grandson is suffering from a hookworm infection in his intestine. Eating the wick of the candle wick is one of the symptoms of this disease. I shall prescribe him some herbal medicines and he will recover very soon. What? We've never heard of this kind of disease before. This child must be possessed. He must eat gold. Yes, yes. Go away, go away, get out of here. Don't hold us back. Stop your nonsense! Medicine should be prescribed according to the bodily condition of a man. The staple food of mankind is five grains and water. A piece of gold is even heavier than a piece of stone. Eating a piece of stone overloads our digestive system, let alone a piece of gold. Fine, I shall try it your way. Please give me the herbs. At the end, Li Shijian managed to cure the grandson of the king of Fushun and was highly praised by the king. Later on, he also cured the son of the king of Chu State. Because of his excellent skill, he was recommended by the king to be an imperial doctor in the Imperial Academy of Medicine, yet. After taking your elixir, I feel tired all day. Why? This is the sign of your majesty becoming immortal. It is very, very normal. Your Majesty, please do not believe in these shams. Oh, Li Shijian! It's you two again. <laughs> Life, Life is, is difficult. difficult. We, we just want, want to earn a living. living. We, we have, have no, no choice. choice. Your Majesty, if you go on taking these elixirs, your health will get poorer and poorer every day. Please let me prescribe you some medicines to restore your health. You are so annoying. Nonsense! His Majesty is in perfectly good health. Yes. Go, go away. away! Go, go away! away. <laughs> the Emperor only wants to be immortal and rely on those bogus Taoists. I do not want to stay in the court anymore. Chinese medical science has been developing for years, yet people still cannot tell real and bogus medicine apart. They are still deceived by the shams. I must make some changes. Li Shijian left his job at the Imperial Academy of Medicine. If I want to improve the public's knowledge of Chinese medicine, I must do everything by myself. Teacher, what is this? Oh, this herb seems to have more than one description. It confuses me. Let me try it out. Oh no, the herb seems to be poisonous. Teacher, you will risk your health by doing so. It doesn't matter. As long as I get to know which description is correct. Hurry up, note it down. Okay, teacher, here are the paper and wow. brush. I would like to try that leaf on your head too. Oh, please don't. Li Shijian decided to comprehensively compile the knowledge of Chinese medicine and herbs. Over the following 30 years, he visited numerous lands from the north to the south to collect remedies and formulas from all parts of China and edited the most important work in the Chinese medical history, the Compendium of Herbs. When Li Shijian finished the compilation of the Compendium of Herbs, he was already an old man. It's a pity that I cannot witness the publication of Compendium of Herbs yet. I understand the work I've dedicated my entire life to will soon be read 
such that everybody can get proper medical treatment. Thinking of this makes me happy. Li Shijian tested countless herbal medicines on himself with his spirit of scientific inquiry and compiled the Compendium of Herbs, the most comprehensive herbology collection in China at that time. It brings many of us insight into Chinese medicine and herbology and has made a great contribution to Chinese medicine. His bravery to uphold his beliefs sets a good role model. The emphasis on nurturing internal bodily harmony of modern Chinese medicine is widely supported among the Chinese. This ancient medical wisdom also draws the attention of the West, which mainly practices Western medical science. Some Westerners even favor the use of acupuncture and Chinese medical treatments.